Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode with the 67 GTO. What I'm showing you here is the left side quarter panel and what this video is going to be about. It's just going to be going over everything before you put the panel on for the last time hopefully and some of the stuff that you need to do with these replacement panels. Some of the things that may be required. Sometimes you have to deviate a little from the factory just to make things fit. But one thing with the quarter panels I want to touch on, as you can see, I've got marks all over, but you can see what I did was I've got all my holes drilled or punched all the way through there. There's a couple holes behind here for that brace. When you get into the drip rail, you can see what I did here. So we'll be able to weld that. This will get welded with the factory welds across here. The top panel welds onto this, but I've got some extra holes back here as well. So we've got all that taken care of. Coming around to the back, I've got all my holes punched around here because that's what will weld the tail panel in. I didn't, you don't see any holes here because I'm actually going to weld through the trunk drop into this piece. So these were just here for reference. I'll clean them off. Same thing down here. I'm not welding through this way. I'm gonna weld through the other way. All the holes around the wheelhouse are punched. And I even have holes punched. And this is really important. This is where the quarter panel meets the rocker. And in my experience, a lot of cars I've had to redo I have found that this area, a lot of times, people forget to weld it. And this is super important that this gets welded down here to the rocker panel. Same thing with the lower jam. This all has to be welded. We'll go over to the car. The right side quarter panel is fitted, hopefully for the last time. If all goes well with the reinstall of everything, that will not be coming off. And that hits on another key point. I've had these quarter panels, I've had the whole back of this car together and apart probably four times now. And I'm gonna do it again. Put the whole thing together, put the trunk lid on it. I'm gonna gap the trunk lid, get everything set and clamped the way I like it before I strike one weld, one arc of a weld. And you need to make sure everything's in place. What happens is, as you weld, as I explained before, the heat causes the panels to start moving around a little bit. And if I was to just start welding this quarter panel on the way you see it, nothing else would ever fit. You have to put everything together, have it gapped, clamped, and then you start welding. What will end up happening here is once the quarter panels are welded on, I will remove the taillight panel because I still got some more work to do in the trunk and on the rear window filler panel but at least the quarter panels will be locked in position and then we'll kind of go from there. But getting on to another thing, again, about fitment and replacement parts and some things that you have to do. Usually what I do is when I mock up cars, when I do wheelhouses, especially if I'm doing an inner and an outer and a quarter panel, we'd like to put these brand new panels exactly where the factory had them. Sometimes they work out great and on sometime, and sometimes they don't. This car is an example of the sometimes they don't. As we come in here, you can see I've got it all welded up. This whole thing's welded all the way across. And it's welded all the way down. But the problem is right here. Originally when I set this all together, I put the wheelhouses on and I had the wheelhouses up in position against this. This is your roof rail support that comes all the way down, ties into the wheelhouse, and then this distributes the load across. So this is super important. This is another area that I find a lot of times when I cut cars apart, if this panel was replaced, people forget to weld this. Normally, this panel is butt up all the way up. It's flat against here, and you don't have this piece right here. I had to add this piece. And the reason is, as I said, I put the quarter panel, I put the, excuse me, I put the wheelhouse on in the position that the factory would have had it and I just clamped it in place. I then put the quarter panel on and found that the wheelhouse 
the whole arc of that wheelhouse did not match the quarter panel not as far as shape but it was too high I had a gap all the way around and one of the things um, that I see some guys do is they just kind of weld that in and then they figure they can just squeeze the quarter panel bend the bend the lip up on the quarter panel and weld that the problem with that is you're putting stress in that stamp panel that quarter panel that it never had it wasn't designed to have that kind of stress and what can happen is later on down the road if you have a darker color on the car sometimes sitting out in the sun on a hot day you'll notice the quarter panel has waves in it that it never had before and then when it cools down the waves go away well that's because somewhere along the line the quarter panel is in stress and the heat caused the metal to expand to the point where it ran out of room to move so it does what's called oil canning and it'll either push out or push in and then once it cools it relaxes back to its normal state so it's really crucial that you get the wheelhouse to match the quarter panel and not the other way around as I said it will cause undue stress so what I had to do was I ended up putting the quarter panel on I unclamped this and then slid it down and you can see here at least the way these parts were stamped this is pretty far apart and that is actually an error in the stamping they're just the parts don't match but the fact that I had to add this piece here is because this no longer was up flat against the bottom the way it's supposed to be. So I bent these pieces down, made this up. This is all heavy gauge steel. Everything's all welded up the way it should be. So it's just as strong as the original. But that is super important. Not only that joint, but making sure you don't stress the quarter panel. You want these things to sit on the car in a relaxed state. When you start welding, things start moving. If you've got something stressed before you start welding, it's going to be stressed even more after you, you, you finish your welding. And then who knows what's going to happen after that. I've seen cars where a guy might lean up against the quarter panel and the whole quarter panel caves in because the metal is under so much stress that it just takes a light touch and it bends the quarter panel inward. Of course, you can pop it back out but it's not a good thing to have a stress in a panel so be careful of that it's great when people want to do stuff themselves but as i say all the time two things it's great they make these parts but they don't fit and then the second thing is take your time you need to have a lot of patience to do it the right way moving to the back here you can see i've got the the old section of the trunk pan welded to the brand new trunk floor we had to do that, as I explained in a previous video, because the brand new trunk pan was manufactured incorrectly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get this other quarter panel on the car, get the rest of the parts back on the car, clamped, clecoed, put the trunk lid on it, get it gapped properly, and make sure everything is exactly where I want it. And then once I'm happy with that, I can start welding. So. Probably in the next episode here, we'll see the quarter panels on the car. I might do a video real quick once the tail panel's out and show you some things on the inside that you need to make sure. Also, that get welded. Another area that I see people forget. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to get cracking here. So stay tuned. As always, like, subscribe. Questions, comments. More to come, guys.